Tuesday story time. Today our theme is a very good time. Can you guess what our books are all about? You're right, we're reading books all about bears today. So let's get started. Bear came along. Once there was a river that flowed night and day, but it didn't know that it was a river. Bear came along. Bear was just being curious. When he realized what the river could do, but he didn't know he was on an adventure until Froggy hopped on. Froggy was a lonely frog who was looking for a friend but she didn't know how many she had until the turtles tried to warn them about the things that could go wrong. But they didn't know how to enjoy the ride until Beaver climbed aboard. Beaver was born to captain. He knew exactly where to go, but he didn't know about the detours until the raccoons dropped in. The raccoons were so excited about the twists and turns ahead, but they didn't know they had to be careful until they crashed into Duck. Duck was so content with being right where she was, but she didn't know that there was a word to see until, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bear held on to Froggy. Froggy held on to Turtles. Turtles held on to Beaver. Beaver held on to Raccoons. Raccoons held on to Duck. Oh, what a ride. So many different animals living in their separate lives, but they didn't know they were in it together until the river came along. The end. That was a super cool one. Snow bears. Mommy bear came out to play with her baby bears. They were all covered with snow. You look like snow bears, mommy said. That's what we are, said the three baby bears. We are snow bears. And that's how their snow bear game began. But where are my baby bears? Mommy bear asked. I don't know where we are, said the biggest snow bear. I haven't seen us, said the middle sized snow bear. We aren't here, mommy bear, said the smallest snow bear. Then who can I play with, sighed mommy bear. We'll play with you, mommy bear, said the snow bears. What games will we play, asked mommy bear. Let's slide, said the biggest snow bear. They slid down the slope and boom, the smallest snow bear got snow on her nose. The bears would like playing that game, mommy bear said. Are you sure you haven't seen my bears? I don't know where we are, said the biggest snow bear. I haven't seen us, said the middle-sized snow bear. We aren't here, mommy bear, said the smallest snow bear. What will we play next? Mommy Bear asked. We snowball you and you snowball us, said the middle-sized snow bear. Splot, splot, splot. The smallest snow bear couldn't throw very well, but her paws were as cold as her nose. Three against one isn't fair, Mommy Bear said. I wonder where my baby bears could be. I don't know where we are, said the biggest snow bear. I haven't seen us, said the middle-sized snow bear. We aren't here, mommy bear, said the smallest snow bear. It's your turn to pick the next game, mommy bear said to the smallest snow bear. I'm too cold to play games, said the smallest snow bear. I want to go home. Hot toast by the fire will soon warm you up, mommy bear said. 
My baby bears like hot toes. And so do we, said the snow bears. Mommy bear carried the smallest snow bear in her arms as they all went back to the warmth of the house. Drip. Something is happening to us, said the biggest snow bear. Drip, drip. We're starting to drip, said the middle-sized snow bear. Drip, drip, drip. We're melting away, said the smallest snow bear. Mommy bear came back with the toast and she saw her three baby bears by the fire where their snow bears had been. My baby bears, mommy bear said. Yes, it's us, the snow bears. But where's the snow bears I left by the fire, mommy bear asked. There weren't any snow bears, said the biggest baby bear. We were playing tricks, said the middle-sized baby bear. It was us all the time, mommy bear, said the smallest baby bear. I made this toast for the snow bears, mommy said. We'll eat the toast, said the baby bears. Then they all had hot toast by the fire, mommy bear and her three baby bears. The end, that one was so sweet. A bear for all seasons. Alone at last, bear thought, he rubbed his eyes and yawned. He snuggled beneath his thick quilt. The winter winds moaned, the trees outside groaned. A log in the fireplace crackled. Bear smiled and snuggled deeper. Tap, tap, tap. Bear loved the sound of naked trees tapping against his den. Scratch, scratch, scratch. He loved the sound of crisp leaves being blown against his door. Crackle, crackle, crackle. Bear loved to hear the snap and pop of fire. Tap, scratch, crackle, crackle. Scratch, crackle, tap, tap. Bear's eyelids drooped as he listened to the sounds of winter. Soon, he would be fast asleep. Tap, crackle, stretch. Bam, bam, bam. Bear sat straight up. Bam, bam, bam. That was not a winter sound. Bear put on his robe and peeked out the window. Get out of bed, a voice called. Bear padded to the door and opened it. It was his friend Fox. He stamped the snow off his feet and scurried into Bear's warm den. A fellow could freeze to death out there, Fox said. Where were you? Sorry, Fox, Bear said. I was just about to take a long winter nap. Bear's eyelids felt as heavy as iron skillets. He wished Fox would leave soon. Fox Rob rubbed his paws together. Don't you just hate winter? Why no, Bear replied. Winter is my favorite season. He yawned and scratched. And now if you would excuse me. Think of spring, Fox said, waving a forepaw. A south wind warms the earth. Buds smile into delicate leaves. And the woods are alive. Bear nodded happily at the memory. It's when I wake up, he said. I do love the sniff of the fresh green woods. Flowers bloom and bees buzz, Fox continued. Bear clapped his paws and bees make honey, Fox frowned. But then there are the spring rains. Bear closed his eyes. Hmm, honey and cinnamon on toast. I can taste it now. And the ground turns into a yucky mess, Fox complained. I changed my mind, Bear cried. Spring is really my favorite season. You said winter was your favorite. I was wrong. Are you sure, Fox asked? Yes, I'm certain. Think of summer, Fox said. The sun warms the ground and the leaves rustle gently in the breeze. The woods are cool and dark. Bear sighed. Huh, it's a lazy time, he said. The squirrels chatter in the trees. The crickets chirp. Fox said. Bear smiled. Blackberries are finally ripe. Mosquitoes buzz, Fox paused and bite. Bear smacked his lips. Hmm, how good a fat, juicy blackberry would taste right now. And Fox continued. And sometimes it gets so hot, I just lie and pant. Bear sighed and looked at the ceiling, remembering his summer. Summer is truly my favorite season, he said. You said spring was your favorite. I was wrong. Are you sure, Fox asked? Yes, 
I'm certain, Bea replied. Think about autumn, Fox said. The awful heat disappears, the leaves turn yellow, red, and orange, and the woods are so beautiful. Bear dabbed in the tears of his eyes. Oh, fall is so gorgeous. You know how beauty always makes me cry. Leaves crunch underfoot, Fox said, and an earthy smell fills the air. Bear remembered his walks to the stream, and there are salmon in the river again. His mouth watered. Fox scowled, but soon the trees are naked and the woods are dull and gray and the wind blows from the north, he shivered. But Bear could almost smell fish frying in the pan. Autumn is really my favorite season. You said summer was your favorite. I was wrong. Are you sure, Fox asked? Yes, I'm certain, Bear replied. Think about winter, Fox said. The earth goes to bed under a pure white blanket of snow. Icicles hang from each branch and bush and the woods are transformed. Bear stretched and yawned. Fox continued. On sunny days, the snow glitters like a million diamonds. Bear laughed. I love to catch snowflakes on my tongue. How good a steaming hot drink tastes on such cold days, Fox says. Bear nodded. How it warms the tummy and toes. How good a crackling fire feels, said Fox. It does make one feel toasty. Bear's stomach rumbled. Say, Fox, I have an idea. Would you like some hot cocoa? I would love some, Bear. I thought you would never ask. Bear poured milk into a pan and set it over the fire to warm. He then spooned the cocoa into two mugs. The trees outside groan and the winter winds moaned. Tap, scratch, crackle, crackle. You know, Fox, I was wrong. I love winter, Bear began. Fox snorted. <clears throat> but you said, and I love spring and summer and autumn. But you know what's really and truly my favorite time? No, Bear, tell me, what is your favorite time? Bears poured the steaming milk into the mugs and stirred. The company of a good friend is what I love best, no matter the season. Fox smiled and sipped his drink. Are you sure? Yes, Bear replied. I am absolutely certain. The end. That was a really cool one.